This is the theme of setback and misery, Annie's knowledge base, select frames. So she gives him another set of pills. I never really counted the pills, but you know, we have to think to ourselves that if she's giving him pills, it may be uh, two sets in a day or per day. And then he takes the pills. So we can tell um, that his face is improving. And then she gives him water, of course. So he's not on the drip anymore. So he must be stabilized here, even if he's still in pain. And um, he's talking about when um if he will recover uh she was talking about how how his legs were singing grand opera will he be able to walk um shoulder was was um was dislocated and um and then she talks about his legs so i thought it was very interesting about the legs she says that um what she would do with the legs and trying to repair them. And she said, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a doctor that could have done any better. Again, that's moving, that's sort of moving beyond your mastery orientation. She's a nurse and she can't compare herself to a doctor, but she's basically comparing herself to a doctor. So that means she has changed her own authority. Now she wants to become his authority and being everything that she she's going to become to him. Uh, but I thought it was interesting that she runs down her knowledge base about the fracture, and uh, and she you know promises to take him to the hospital when the roads are better. And then he was basically asking, "Will I recover?" And then he's in pain again. And th this is where she's going down, uh, doing a whole rundown about his fracture and how she needed to leave it alone because she could feel the bones moving. So again, she has a good mastery orientation about fractures, not only about pain and in administering um, the, the, the medication and then also CPR administering um, resuscitation methods, right? But she also has um, good understanding about fractures and and um, what it takes because she's not letting her own ego get in the way of helping him to recover. That's not gonna happen until later when she realizes that he's going to end the misery business and then her ego takes over. Right now, she's earnest and the way that she is treating Paul Sheldon. That's why I think that image we get of the house, it looks so earnest, it looks so sincere, it looks pic uh, picturesque. It looks like um, a nice thing, right? So she's being nice. She's she's doing what is part of, of her training, right? She's not abandoning her mastery orientation, which she will do later. So the fact that she realizes that I better hold off and not do too much because I can hear the bones moving, I better wait, right? And then maybe you could have some sympathy for her in terms of why she doesn't call the ambulance or why she doesn't call the police. Because when you listen to her go, go from point to point about his fracture, you feel informed you feel like she knows what she's doing and so as a view as the viewing audience we need to trust annie why wouldn't we trust her here it is she got this man's legs and braces and 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 patches and she's administering medicine and and the drip and and anything else that could help him and she's and he's in a clean bed or whatever she's taking care of him so why wouldn't we trust her if if we have any doubts about her, that's on us to have any doubts about her. So that's what you see here. That's why in some ways we can have some sympathy for Annie because uh, or whether or not we even need to think that way, we are just thinking to ourselves, she must know what she's doing. 
So then she exits the room, of course, once she's done what she needed to do as a nurse. All right, like, subscribe, and visit. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for more discussions. You can visit my YouTube channel for further film analysis. It's Favors Film Analysis as the title of the channel. Uh, you can always send me an email and ask me a question, ReginaYFavors at yahoo.com. My Overcoming Setback, Five Keys for Entering and Exiting Correction book uh, will become available around October 2021. I'm still doing some editing. The book does not focus on film analyses, but I use uh, the content that, that I created for the book to support my, um, my perceptions of setback used as a theme in select films. So when the book becomes available, I will send out a notification video audio. Um, thank you very much for visiting the channel.